What's up, everybody? Cypher here. More Fallout New Vegas. Uh, last time we walked from the middle of the strip to the NCR Embassy because we got a letter from NCR President Dude and Caesar Dude and screw Caesar to help you. Yeah, right, attacked me. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? This is what we're doing. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. You. Through the left. To right. What's this? Just some office. This is office. Ah, uh, shut the door. Sorry. Sorry, Eddie. Ambassador. Something I can help you with, soldier? Thing you want to talk I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. The NCR is in a bit of a tight spot with all that's going on, and I need someone like you to help me. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. And if you right. prove to be a loyal and capable agent, well, let's just say there's a lot of work to be done. And the NCR is a good friend to have. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable oh, to us. Yeah. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come oh, back and let yeah. me know if they will help us. Remember them, because they're the ones. About the. What do you call it? First time I encountered them, and every subsequent time, I should say. Damn it. Finish that. I will be playing later. Hello. Alright, you find a bed. Hello. Let's check one on break. Has anybody got some beds? Anybody got a bed I can use? Bed, 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 bed. Uh, yeah, let's do, what is it? Nine? Yeah, seven, sure. With that. Good day, Emery. No. Alright. Now something I am. Let's do this. Yes, anyways, the boomers. <laughs> yeah. They Just lost a month's caps. Watch your caps. Don't I don't know. I don't think of it now. How is it? Scope. Make good scope. I have guns with the scope. I 
I say about a half an hour, but... Welcome, sir, or ma'am. Yeah, yeah, do you have your stuff yet? Yes, you do. Oh, I also went... I spent like two hours... The various casinos here. Made almost fifty thousand. I said double or nothing at one point. I lost it all. I managed to get twenty-three thousand. Okay. And that's it. So. No worry, anyway. That'd be nice, but <clears throat> I battle rifle this thing. I only remembered what it is. Um, hunting rifle scope. Yes. Good if we get there at night. Put a long range scope on that. What is the varmint rifle? Three shotgun, battle rifle. Not the really second. Mm. I speak. Aha! Victory! Let's go, Bill. Yeah. The bloomers. This is 
exactly a place I'd like to go. better. He's off. Oh man. This guy is gonna run up, be like, "If you time it right, and blah blah blah." Whoa yep. there, pal! You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your mm -hmm. attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Oh lordy, lordy! You haven't heard of the Boomers? Nope. What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery okay. slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Suit. Thank you. 
You don't want to go there, you'll get blown up. So he's about to get himself blown up. My robot's dead. Get that wonderful. Hold it right there. Oh, thank God. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... Mm. Just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Well, that's new to me. Follow close. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Prophecy. Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? <laughs> I just hoped a savage oh, outsider, sorry, would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Well, no shit. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little too. Oh, oh so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Uh, 
I guess. You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every out. I suppose. Open the freaking door. Jesus. By repairs, they mean something more awesome. Shut it. Lead pipe that you're using instead of something better. I'll have tip boys. 34. They don't all have. Whatever. Obviously, I have to talk to them or help them. when they have it. Almost built 100%. So you're the outsider. Right. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Should punch me in the throat. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. I'll keep my spit to myself, thank you very much. That sounded stupid, didn't it? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it did. Bye. Scrap metal. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Mm -hmm. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building sm Fine. <laughs> if we need something obliterated, Raquel and the Howard's crews are more... No, we have... Spare... Ray parts, huh? Didn't activate that one, did it? No, it didn't. Activate... Alright, solar parts. Alright, 
to do this. Let's do it. Chances are... Food water. Mm-hmm. Right. So, screw helping them. This one. I want to heal this one. Just realign them with the tower up here, and you can run the Archimedes, Archimedes project. Is what it was called? Go that kid, pay him a thousand caps for his little pistol thing. And then once a day, you can use like satellite beam charge it going. This is a restricted area. State your business. Uh, this one. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. Yeah, science. No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell, he might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. That's have right. him fill you in on the details. He's in the back of the building. You'll know him when you see him. Keeps his sunglasses idiot on all the time. Sunglasses. Even when he's sleeping. Alright, 
guys, that was Fallout New Vegas. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're gonna end it here. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.